Whose Garden Is It? by Mary Ann Hoberman, illustrated by Jan Dyer. Mrs. McGee went out walking one day, and as she was cheerfully winding her way, she passed by a garden with colors so bright, she never had seen such a beautiful sight. How splendid, how pleasant, how simply exquisite. This garden is perfect. But whose garden is it? The gardener answered, it's clear as can be. This garden you see belongs only to me. I am the owner and everyone knows it. I am the person who plants it and grows it. See how I keep it in first rate condition? No one can come here without my permission. The gardener bows and allows her to pass, then went back to weeding and seeding the grass. He grumbled to see how some lettuce was gone and stumped on some strange bumpy lumps in the lawn. Then Mrs. McGee heard a sharp little squeak. Up popped a rabbit who started to speak. He said, it is his, but I cannot agree. If no one can come here, then what about me? I've lived my whole life here. Just see how I dine. He grows me my dinner. This garden is mine. Not so, sniffed the woodchuck from under a wall. You can eat just a little, but I can eat it all. I gobble each bud and each leaf and each vine. I eat the whole garden. This garden is mine. It's mine, the bird sweeter from high in a tree. The worms in the garden were put there for me. Not so, sighed the worm, why I make the soil fine. And that's why I'm put here. This garden is mine. It's mine, the wasp grumbled. I've built a fine nest here. It's mine, buzzed the honeybee. You're just a pest here. I pollinate flowers, it's easy to see. This garden would not even be without me. Or me, bragged the butterfly, begging your pardon. I too spread the pollen all over the garden. It's mine, squeaked the squash bug. No, it's mine, whined the flea. No, it's mine, snapped the beetle. It's planted for me. Not so, the snake hissed from under the pine. I feast on your fellows. This garden is mine. It's mine, groaned the mole. It is full of my furrows. It's mine, squealed the vole. See my bumps and my barrels? The toads and the turtles, the squirrels and the hares, the chipmunks and the crickets all claimed it was theirs. Then Mrs. McGee heard a hum in her ear. Who was that calling her? What did she hear? It is mine. A plant rustled. I blossom in season. If this is a garden, then I am the reason. No mind, a wee whistle, a wave in the breeze. You have to be planted. I grow where I please. It is mine, breathe the soil. It is perfectly clear. Nothing could grow here if I were not here. It is mine, bark the tree, for I shelter and shade you. And as for my leaves, fall year by year I have made you 
It is mine, smiled the sun, shining down on the tree. I bring heat, I bring light, nothing lives without me. Nothing lives without me, it is perfectly plain. My showers bring flowers, it's mine, cried the rain. Then Mrs. McGee heard a faint little sound. Something was murmuring under the ground. Something that seemed as if she were quite near it. Holding her breath, she bent over to hear it. It is mine, the seed whispered. The others may help me, but all of them know without me to grow from, no parting will grow. The sun was now setting, the day growing late. The gardener called as she walks out the gate. Now wasn't my garden a fine place to visit? But still she kept wondering, are you still wondering? Pondering, wondering? Whose garden is it? The end.